Welcome to Planet Vehicle, an automotive reality show. Planet Vehicle helps the viewer experience the world of automobiles. We review new cars and take you on test drives. We talk with the heads of the automotive industry to find out what products their companies are bringing to the showroom. Transportation is a large part of lifestyle. We bring you athletes, business leaders, and celebrities at events where cars, SUVs, and motorcycles are featured and highlighted. Classic cars, new cars, or futuristic cars, Planet Vehicle puts them in the spotlight. Planet Vehicle introduces you to car clubs, takes you to auto shows, and reports from the racetrack. In addition to our television program, Planet Vehicle's website keeps you updated on the latest news and trends, while our viewer appreciation events provide the opportunity to mingle, network, and experience new and exciting models straight off the assembly line. An automobile is a huge purchase. Planet Vehicle shows you how to take great care of your investment, whether it's safety, maintenance, or ideas to customize your vehicle. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Hey, it's Alvin Jones for Planet Vehicle, and today we're standing right outside of the British Embassy. We're on our way in. We've been invited by the British Ambassador, Sir Peter Westmacott, and we are going to take a look at the new 2013 Aston Martin Vanquish. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Pleased to have everybody here in the garden. Now, what do you, when, when you see an Aston Martin, what do you think? Well, we think, we think quality, we think style, we think James Bond, we think a 100-year-old motor car of immense style, and we are very proud of it. Well, everybody is enjoying it tonight. Of course, the beautiful grounds. Of course, you know, Britain and the United States have been friends and allies for years. And, of course, with an Aston Martin, it's hard to be anything but friends. Well, that's right. And there are a number of people here who are lifelong owners of Aston Martin. Some of them are on their fourth or their fifth. They are devoted to them, and they think that they are quintessentially you know, a very fine British product, but essentially a very fine motor car which they love to drive. These are driver's cars. Uh, these are not cars where you sit in the back and, and, and be in the limo. And it's a very important market for Aston Martin, and we are very proud of the fact that even though they only make 4,000 of these cars a year, that a number of them come here, and here we are tonight celebrating the launch of their latest version, you know, this new Vanquish. So it's a great moment for us, and it's a great moment to celebrate something that's really very special, that gives a lot of pleasure at a time when there's not very much good economic news around. <laughs> so there you have. I know you've got so many places to go. I got to run. First of all, thank you for being a, a great host, and thanks for coming on Planet Vehicle. My pleasure. Thanks for being here. We're delighted. Uh, thank you for taking an interest in our evening, and uh, I hope that everybody continues to enjoy themselves at our, in our garden tonight. Tracy Morgan, and you're watching Planet Vehicle. Holla. I'm Lisa Vignelle, the regional manager for Ford in the Washington region, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about all the great products that Ford is bringing to market right now. Uh, we're bringing out an all-new 2013 Ford Fusion, an all-new 2013 Ford Escape, and the brand-new Ford C-Max, which is a hybrid vehicle. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about all the technologies, the safety that we're putting in these vehicles for you consumers. So we help the customer have a great experience in their car. One of my absolute favorite is the Park Assist. So in our Ford vehicles, the Ford Escape, the Ford Fusion, all new products that are coming to market, what you end up getting when you are looking in D.C., crowded market, Baltimore, you're driving around downtown, you can't find a parking spot. You can actually push a button and ask the car to help you secure and find a spot that you can actually park in. So as you drive past a line of vehicles, it's a tight space. The car will actually assess if your vehicle can fit in there. And so it looks around, it says, yes, this is a spot that your car will fit in. You actually um, put the vehicle in reverse and you take your hands off the steering wheel. And the car actually, by using the gas and the brake, the car pulls into the parking spot for you. So it moves along with your gas and braking, tells you to stop, tells you to move forward. Voila, you're in the parking spot hands-free. It's absolutely amazing. Everyone wants that on their vehicle. I actually saw somebody today looking for a spot. They could have used Active Park Assist. So we're going to move forward and look for a parking spot and you push the button to activate Active Park Assist and the system actually looks to see if there's a spot that's large enough for your vehicle to park. So it's in a search mode right now and you're going to drive and I actually found a parking spot. 
So it then tells you to pull forward just a little bit to park. And when it does that, then it says stop and remove your hands from the steering wheel and put the, put the, park in, uh, the car in reverse. And then you actually use the gas and the brake and it will get you into the parking spot hands-free. And the steering wheel does the work and you do have to ensure that you're using your brake. And it starts to beep as it gets close to the car behind you. It says back up slowly and then it says stop. And then it's gonna give you instructions on the screen to pull forward slowly. And so again, you come off the brake a little bit and get a little gas and it beeps as you get close to the car in front of you, and it says active park assist finished and you're in your spot. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Action. I love telling big stories about big heroes, but at the end of the day, real life is better than any story. Our servicemen and women are the real heroes. Every day, they make the sacrifices for their country, for my country, for my son's country. The USO gives us real ways to support our real heroes. There is a way we can say thanks. You can go to USO.org and make a real difference in their lives today. Do it. Hey, it's Alvin Jones for Planet Vehicle. You know, when it comes to music, the epitome is the Grammys. The top of the line in movies is the Oscars and the Linea PT, which is Italian for top of the line. Also, when it comes to cars, it's Consumer Reports, best and worst of 2013, and we have them for you right here on Planet Vehicle. In midsize sedan, uh, the Honda Accord is our pick this year. We had uh, seen some uh, problems in redesigns in recent years from Honda, uh, but they nailed this one. It's, this is roomy, nice to drive, well-equipped, and very fuel-efficient. In fact, in the four-cylinder model, we got 30 mpg overall, 40 on the highway. That 30 mpg is the same that we got in a subcompact Honda Fit, so that's pretty amazing. If for a budget car category, which we, just, we define as the best under $20,000, we've picked the Hyundai Elantra, and, that's, and the Elantra is one of our top-rated compact cars but it's priced competitively with subcompacts. Uh, and the, uh, it, you know, the, the Elantra delivers a lot for the money, has a roomy, well-finished interior, smooth powertrain, nimble handling, and even its fuel economy at 29 MPG is competitive with subcompacts. So you know, if you're looking for a car under $20,000, it makes a whole lot more sense to get an Elantra than, than a small subcompact. Now in our compact car category, the, we picked the Subaru Impreza overall, which in our ratings edges out the Elantra a little bit. This is the second year for the, in the top picks for the Impreza, and it's re in its recent redesign, it, uh, it really did well. It has an absorbent ride that rivals some luxury sedans. It's easy to live with, with roomy interior, spacious rear seat, good visibility, and even its fuel economy of 26 to 27 mpg, depending on the version, whether it's a hatchback or sedan, uh, and that's pretty good for an all-wheel drive car. In our sports sedan category, we picked the BMW 328i. And of course, the 3 Series, we all know, is, is sporty, fun to drive, has great handling. Um, but with its recent redesign, it got roomier, it got lu more luxurious, and it got more fuel efficient. So it's a better all-around vehicle now. And in fact, it's 28 MPG overall that we measured is the best in its class. In luxury cars, we picked the Audi A6. And this is just a great car to spend time in. It's agile, quick. As we've said, it's a joy to drive. It's, uh, it has a uh, well-crafted interior with lots of high-tech features, a uh, strong V6, and a super smooth automatic transmission. Uh, and even its fuel economy, 22, is pretty respectable uh, for the all-wheel drive the version that we tested. In sports cars, we picked some virtual twins. The Scion FRS and the Subaru BRZ. And these are purebred rear wheel drive sports cars that are really fun to drive. They provide great handling, great acceleration, great braking. Uh, they're, they're available at affordable prices in the mid 20,000 range. Our testers had a ball with them at our track, but, but they are 
pure sports cars. So they have a stiff ride, kind of a little bit Spartan, uh, but uh, you know, so if you're, if you're looking for comfort and convenience, these probably not where you want to go, but if you're looking for fun, this is definitely it. In our green car category, for the 10th straight year, we've picked the Toyota Prius. Now we have tested cars that get better fuel economy in terms of MPG. Uh, we've tested electric cars uh, specifically that have gotten 100 or better, the equivalent of 100 or better MPG. But we feel that the Prius still provides the best blend of fuel efficiency, practicality, and affordability of any car. And it's 44 MPG is still the best of any five passenger non-plug-in vehicle we've tested. So 10 years running, it's our green car. In the small SUV category, uh, last year's winner, the Toyota RAV4 has been redesigned. Uh, the runner-up, the Subaru uh, Forester, was redesigned. That allowed the Honda CRV to kind of move up into this spot because we haven't tested those redesigns yet. But the CRV is a solid choice in itself. It's a good all-around SUV, competitively priced, smooth, responsive powertrain, good fuel economy of 23 mpg, uh, and uh, excellent reliability. For a mid-size SUV picked the Toyota Highlander for the third straight year. And the way I look at the Highlander is it, has, it offers the practicality of a three-row SUV and the refinement of a good sedan. And that means it has a cushy ride, well-finished cabin, smooth powertrain. And the hybrid model gets 27 MPG overall, which is the best we've gotten out of any SUV. And finally, the minivan category. We chose the Honda Odyssey. The Odyssey missed out last year because it had below average reliability. In our latest survey though, its reliability came up and it was able to edge out the Toyota Sienna for this spot. Uh, and this is a solid choice for a family, comfortable, roomy, versatile, uh, generous rear seat room, and it now has a backup camera that's standard on all models, which we think is a great safety feature, especially for a vehicle that's around a lot of small kids. So there you have it, folks. The top cars in 10 categories is brought to you by the best and worst of Consumer Reports for 2013. Don't forget to go to their website, consumerreports.org. From the National Press Building with Consumer Reports for 2013, the best and worst, I'm Alvin Jones. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. I love telling big stories about big heroes, but at the end of the day, real life is better than any story. Our servicemen and women are the real heroes. Every day, they make the sacrifices for their country, for my country, for my son's country. The USO gives us real ways to support our real heroes. There is a way we can say thanks. You can go to USO.org and make a real difference in their lives today. Do it. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Of course, it's Planet Vehicle. I'm Alvin Jones, and today I have on gloves and glasses because I am in Baltimore, Maryland, home of the Ravens, world champions in the Super Bowl. And uh, we are inside the Baltimore operations plant for GM, where they build the electric motors for the new Spark EVs. And you'll all find out a little bit more later. So this will be the stator, and the other piece will be the rotor. You'll learn all about how we make them and, and what they do when we put them together. Governor O'Malley, welcome to Planty Vehicle, first of all. Uh, let's talk about your impressions of today's plant, which you saw today, and what it means for uh, not only the country, jobs, and of course, the bay. Yeah, this is advanced manufacturing. This is clean and green manufacturing. This is the spark. This is the new generation of electric drive vehicles. And I'm so proud that it's being built here in White Marsh, where we have one of the most highly skilled workforces that you'll find anywhere in the world. And it's really the, the talent and the skills of the men and women of the UAW working here at GM and White Marsh that make this such a great product. GM really gets it. If you look at how GM incorporates uh, solar energy, 
technology into their manufacturing. You look at the things that they're doing to move towards zero waste. Uh, these, this is the future. This is how we're having we're going to have to uh, redesign and rethink the way that we work and the way we produce things in order to preserve the natural environment. So here in Maryland, where we are so close to the Chesapeake Bay, we understand that the actions we take in terms of the intentional design we bring to transportation or, or the homes or the buildings that we build, uh, all has, uh, has to do with making our environment cleaner and greener and giving our children a more prosperous future. Let me take a pithier run at that. Uh, in our state, uh, we aspire to be a, a Maryland that is smart, green, and growing. Growing most especially jobs and prosperity for the next generation. And the way we do that is through innovation. Innovative things like the new spark that is rolling off the lines with GM that will allow us to get from point A to point B and also do it in a way that doesn't pump greenhouse gas emissions and damage the planet. So it all goes together. So you're going to drive one today? I'm going to go drive one right now. All right. I want to get your impressions when you're done. OK. All right. Thanks. So Governor, what'd you think? I mean, it, had, it, handled like a, it handled like a sports car, had a whole lot of giddy up and go to it. Well, you certainly didn't feel like you were driving some sort of go-kart. I mean, you could really feel it just uh, go from zero to whatever I was going to. So you think it's a good job? I think it's a great car, and I think it'll sell very, very well. well there you have it. Taken straight from the governor. He says sparks are good. Sparks are good. <laughs> Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. I love telling big stories about big heroes, but at the end of the day, real life is better than any story. Our servicemen and women are the real heroes. Every day, they make the sacrifices for their country, for my country, for my son's country. The USO gives us real ways to support our real heroes. There is a way we can say thanks. You can go to USO.org and make a real difference in their lives today. Do it. Tracy Morgan, and you're watching Planet Vehicle. Holla. Hey, it's Alfred Jones from Planet Vehicle, and today we are at a very special place, and I gotta put on my sunglasses, even though the sun's out. These aren't sunglasses, these are shop glasses because we are in Smyrna, Tennessee, home of the plant where they build Nissans in North America. As you can see, the logo, zero emission. You know what that means? That means the Nissan Leaf is built right here. Electric vehicle, all electric. We're gonna go inside because guess what? Now, Nissan makes their own batteries right here on the plant. We're gonna take a look at how they gets done. We're gonna talk to the people who make the batteries. That's right, Planet Vehicle is gonna show you how electric batteries are made. So keep it right here. Welcome Planet Vehicle to Smyrna's lithium ion battery plant. My name is Mark Swenson. I'm the vice president of production engineering and I have responsibility for this operation here. We are standing in the largest lithium ion battery plant in North America. We produce modules, cells, and packs ultimately for the Nissan LEAF, zero emission electric vehicle that's produced on site here. This building is about 475,000 square feet and we started uh, production in October of 2012 to support the vehicle launch in December of 2012. This is just one strategic piece of our zero emission strategy for Nissan in the U.S. The zero emission batteries are built here. The zero emission vehicle is produced in our Smyrna manufacturing vehicle plant. And we also have a powertrain plant in Deckard, Tennessee, located about one hour from here, that produces the electric motor. So all in all, it's our corporate strategy to be corporate citizens. And we're well on our way. We're producing the only mass-produced zero-emission electric vehicle in the U.S., and we're very proud of that. And we're glad that you had a chance to see it today. Thank you. I'm Jeff Deaton. Welcome to the Nissan Battery Plant here in Smyrna, Tennessee. When we developed the workforce strategy for this plant, we quickly realized that you don't go and hire battery plant workers from off the street that have the skills and knowledge needed to run this plant. So what we did was we looked within all the existing manufacturing plants here in the U.S. and we picked the best of the best and assembled a small team that we sent to our sister plant in Zama, Japan to learn the production processes there, 
document those processes and come back to be trainers so that when we did hire the people from off the street, we could train those people. And that was very successful for us. Not only did we find enough people with the aptitude to learn the jobs in this plant, but we met all of our production targets through all the trials and through the SOP of this, the start of production of the plant. We're really proud of what we've done here. Um, all the employees here are really energetic and fully engaged into what we're providing to, to our consumer. Quality is the number one priority in this plant other than safety, and we're, we've got an outstanding product. I believe the more consumers that can experience the Nissan LEAF as their friends and family and neighbors get those, um, sales are in the future are really going to skyrocket for electric vehicles. And here is the piece de resistance. This is the thing everybody's talking about. It is the module for the Leaf, Nissan LEAF. 48 modules go inside of the LEAF to power it, and each module contains four cells, a total of 192 cells that are in the Nissan LEAF. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. I love telling big stories about big heroes, but at the end of the day, real life is better than any story. Our servicemen and women are the real heroes. Every day, they make the sacrifices for their country, for my country, for my son's country. The USO gives us real ways to support our real heroes. There is a way we can say thanks. You can go to USO.org and make a real difference in their lives today. Do it. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Hey, once again, it's Alvin Jones. Welcome to Planet Vehicle. Today, we are at Redskins Park in Ashburn, Virginia. And down the hill, not only are there Redskins, but there are rides. That's right, because today is the annual Redskins ride. So we're going to go down the hill, take a look at some of the rides, and enjoy ourselves right here on Planet Vehicle. Fight for all we see. Good, how you doing? Good, thank you. Look, it's, it's good to see you again and good to be here with you for this event. Let's talk about what it takes to put on an event like this. Well, we work out all year. We try to be selective what cars we let in. It's our fifth year. It's our biggest crowd we had. We pre-sold over 4,000 tickets. We want a lot more. Eat them, swap them, touch them, let the point soar. event without Chief Z. How you doing, Chief? Fine, man. I'm enjoying it, man. I hate the rain messes up, but I stopped the rain a little bit. There you go. Did you, did, did you do an anti-rain dance? Yes, I did it backwards. <laughs> Tracy Morgan, and you're watching Planet Vehicle. Holla. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Here at the Jaguar Land Rover party, I, I tell you, when you have a beautiful Jaguar like this, you can get any beautiful girl you want, even a Playboy bunny. Right now, I've got Hiromi Hoshima. Yes, Miss June 2004, Playboy Playmate. See? Is there something about a Jaguar that's nice? Sexy. Ah. Very sexy and elegant. Now, being a Playboy Playmate, you know about sexy and elegant, right? Yes, that's me. That's you? That's us, Playmate. Yeah, I... <laughs> I was thinking, when they first told me, I thought you were going to be, like, in 2014, but you've already been a playmate. Yes, I have. You just look so young. Thank you. Yes, That's yes. Asian blood. <laughs> and Ewell, of course. 
enjoy food. There you go. So now, tonight, you've had a wonderful time here? I did a wonderful time. I mean, I did a wonderful time. I had a great time. Ah, so it's so much fun. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Yummy, delicious dinner and dessert and sexy car. What else do you want? I want to take the car home with me. Okay. Here's the key. Oh, okay, <laughs> we can do that. So if, 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 if I was riding around and I saw you standing at the bus stop licking on the lollipop, and I go, hey, Rami, here's a nice Jaguar. Come on, let's go take a ride. Would you ride with me? It's easy, actually. I would say, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> now, you wouldn't kick me out the car and just take the yeah, car. With just give me the key. I'm going to drive. All right, well, I'll sit in the passenger seat. That's the and one. I'll give you my bass pass. Bass pass. <laughs> I guess I would be busted. But tonight, I mean, let's talk about what we saw tonight. Some beautiful, now you, you're a Jaguar person, I think. Yes, I am. How long have you been in the Jaguar? Uh, since actually uh, June. What do you like about Jaguar? The sexy and elegant. It's, I never driven before and I went uh, test driving and I fell in love. And unfortunately, I'm still paying for my car, so in one month, I'm gonna, I wanted to trade it in, but it's coming out in May. We're so lucky to see this car, so I'm afraid of time, but. Okay, that's okay. I'll wait till May, and then I'm gonna trade my car in. Well, if I get one early, can I just come by and pick you up? What color is it? It depends. What color do you want? Like a midnight blue, maybe. 